Hi, welcome to Hacienda Echo Domes. Today I'm going to show you our black and gray water system. It's really important because here in our Valle de Guadalupe in Baja California, water is definitely an issue. And of course, water is an issue worldwide. So it's really important to, uh, I share this knowledge with you and I just want to show you. So come on by. Right, right here, we have a bioregister right here in the, in the black piece, it's buried underground. All the solid waste and water from the house goes in here, including shower and, and, and sink and everything like that. The solid waste goes to the bottom, the water comes up, it comes over here, follow me. So a filter that's underneath here, and then it gets filtered underneath here to this uh, black water area where the water passes through. Some of the plants here eat the bacteria, it goes through sand, and it comes through all the way this way, and into this tank here, where it flows right here, you can see the water come this way, right there, you can see the water coming out. Now what we do here is very important. We have a pump here that pumps the water back to the other side here and keeps the water flowing because water coming out of the black tank is not all the time. It happens you know, during the day, but not all the time. So we keep the water flowing through oxygenation. This water, when it actually comes out of the tube, is getting oxygenated and it goes back and it flows like a river back and forth. Now I still need two more pumps that I ordered from Amazon.com, still waiting for them. They'll be here in a few days. And when I do that, I'll attach the same thing, put a pump back in here, attach it here. It'll come up this way to this tank and back around and start uh, cleaning out this, uh, this tank that belongs to the house up above. That's uh, one of our rentals. So what's happening here in this area is that we are... Um, rotating the water and keeping it moving because what you want to do is not have it stagnant you want to keep it moving and keep it oxygenated oxygenation uh, bacteria and and plants help that process uh, clean the water and make it and so it doesn't smell so which is really neat so that's how it works here all right uh, that's about it i'm going to take you over to the tank right now okay uh, we're back here in my river which is down the space from where that other tank i just showed you is and I'm going to show you where that actual water goes and how we recover it and how we get it out of the system so we can use it for plants and trees. Come this way. Now down here in the river, you can see there's a pipe here. And all that water, when that water reaches a level over there, a certain level, it starts flowing with gravity into this tank here. In this tank here, we uh, put oxygen. This is an oxygen pump. We pump oxygen into the water. We also use uh, plastic uh, little things here that have bacteria. You can see that. And bacteria grows on the plastic, helping eat the bad stuff in the water as well. You can see all little grooves in there. And all that bacteria grows in there. Okay. And of course, the oxygen also adds to the, uh, uh, the process of cleaning the water. When this water reaches a certain level, it starts flowing to the next tank. And then the same process happens here. We blow oxygen into here as well, the same process. It gets cleaned out again, comes back up, and starts flowing into the third tank. And then the third tank is where we actually use the water. We actually have a tube here that's hooked to a pump, and this is where we pump the water out of. Now, when we pump the water out of here, it's clean. It's not clean enough to drink. It's clean enough for plants and trees, and it's not clean enough for fruit trees. Um, that would take a little bit more effort because there are pathogens in the black water that absolutely have to be cleaned out if you want to use them for fruit trees. But uh, we don't use them for fruit trees. We use it for you know the pine trees, the palm trees, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So we got plenty of water, or or even mixing cement or something. So we got plenty of water from our black water system that we can reuse, and that's what makes the system really cool. Okay, uh, one more note on Hacienda Ecodomes. If we're the only one here in the Valle de Guadalupe or in the world that does it, it's not going to help. It's not going to do anything. What's really important is that everybody reconsider how they use their water, whether it's gray or black. Do something about your water usage at your house. Figure a way because if everybody does something, then we're going to have good water for years and years to come. But if I'm the only one that does it, it's not going to work. Okay, thanks.